Hey there guys, Logan from with the Backwoods Woods Institute. Today in this video I'm going to be talking about limb lines and how I make them and how I set them up and usually what I do with them. All right, But there are a lot of legal issues with limb lines. You want to check your local laws to make sure you can set out limb lines. I know in Indiana you can't set them within 300 meters of a partial or a full dam. You also have to have them tagged with your name and address. All right. So make sure you, when you guys, if you guys go out and do this, you check your local laws, make sure you can set them up on the body of water that you want to take them out on. All right, but I'm going to show you guys how I do it and explain how I do it right now. All right, what I start out with is I start out with 550 paracord. If you cut, I usually take about a 9 to 10 foot piece because your limb lines, you want to be sitting on the bottom. All right, and the limb line is exactly how it sounds. Tie off to a limb, let your hook and everything else dangle on the bottom and the fish grabbing a hold of that bait and then trying to get away with it that limb will act as your rod so that's how limb lines used now like I said I start with 550 paracord and I don't use the whole thing I take the little white strings out of the middle alright and to do that you just thread or uh, pull out that outer shell and get to all your little white strings in the middle and that's what you're going to use as your line there's multiple strands of these little white lines in here. You're just going to take one and use one for one limb line. So just get one separated, pile the other ones up over there. All right. Now, how I do it, I like using chem lights, all right, glow sticks. And what I'll do is they, they have this little eyelet. This one's already broke, it's used. They have a little eyelet. I thread my line through, all right. The chem light is going to be out of the water and it's going to tell me. It'll visualize if there's a fish on the line. It's going to shake, it's going to bob and all that stuff. It'll let me know that there's a fish on there. Because I don't like leaving limb lines out overnight. A lot of people do that. And some areas you can do it, some states you can do it. I like sitting there and watching them, you know, up the river and watch and get a visual. As soon as a fish is on there, I want to take it off. I don't want to keep it on there longer than what it has to be. All right. So loop it in there, and all you're going to do is tie it so it's going to stay stationary. And I like leaving about a foot of tie off, because I'm going to tie this to the tree, to the limb. Alright, so I like leaving about a foot where I can tie it off. I tie it on there, it's not going anywhere. Got about my foot of tie off so I can tie onto a limb. Now we're going to do the hook. The hook you want to put on the other end, the end that's going to be dangling in the water. And you're just going to tie a regular fishing knot on there. And what I like to use for bait when I'm doing this, I love using chicken livers for catfish bait. And believe it or not, you know, catfish eat pretty much anything. They're bottom feeders. I've heard some pretty ridiculous stuff that people use to get catfish, like big league chew, the stuff they sell at little league games for, you know, kids bubble gum. I heard, uh, you know, just regular hot dogs marshmallows, uh, all this crazy stuff. I like to use chicken livers, raw chicken livers, and raw uncooked shrimp. That's what I like to use. And usually I alternate every other one, you know, and if I want to find out what they're going to be biting on that night, I'll color coordinate my chem lights with the bait I'm using. You know, let's say I got blue chem light and red chem light. I'll put the blue, on, the shrimp on the blue and the livers on the red, and I'll see which one's going catching the most fish then I can switch my baits over and continue to catch uh, catfish so I tied on the thing I'm gonna cut the tail off and then I'm gonna show you guys how I prepare it and get it ready to roll alright this thing's almost ready to go now in Indiana like I said you have to tag your limb lines before you can set them out and I got some footage of me using limb lines and them in action and what I did was I tagged with a sharpie the chem light which I didn't I thought that'd be a good idea at the time, but then I didn't realize whenever you break the chem light, all this light radiates out and you can't really read the tag that you put on there. So then I had to adapt and I put some duct tape on there. And we have metal tags, we have other stuff that we can put on here that are that are permanent, but all you need is a visible tag, all right? So what I'll do is I'll take duct tape and put it on the line and then tag my name and my address with a Sharpie so it's visible. And I'm going to do that now. I'm just going to double it over. Have it clamp on to the actual limb line. Alright? 
So now I got my tag. Just gotta fill it out. Name, my name, and address. All right, and my address. So that's how you guys would set this up. Now, what I like to do to transport these, you know, you got nine foot of string, ten foot of string. It can get pretty, you know, cluttered. So what I like to do, I wrap it around the Kim light, just like so, all the way up to the hook. All right, guys, here's it all rolled up. I'll hook the hook through the eyelet, and this is ready to go. I got my tag. I got everything I need. And what I'll do is I'll snap this Kim light, bait it, drop it in the water, and that Kim light will dance around if I got a fish on the line. I know I got to go to that one first. Like I said, I don't like leaving them out overnight. It is legal in some areas. You know, check your local laws. But uh, I like to just sit there and watch them. And go up to them and get that fish on there. I don't want to get leave that fish on there longer than it has to be. But like these, I'll set up um, a, a guy in India can take ten of these limb lines out or drop lines, whatever you want to call them. So I'll set ten up that I can use and rig them, bait them, and drop them in the water and sit back and wait. And I hope you guys learned a lot from it. Here's some footage of it in action. I also got a whole video of us catching catfish off of limb lines. So check that out if you go. Try this out. You know, it's fun. It's a challenge to get them big old cats in the boat. So you guys are going to like it. Hope you guys learned something. Catch you in a bit. Get in the boat. Using pliers. Try to get this hook out. Don't have to worry about that light. Fire works. Yeah, it's pretty rusty. <laughs> there it is. Oh. Two hands open. Ooh. Throw him in the cooler. <laughs> 